Are you tired of AI tools failing to generate consistent characters for your projects? Well, guess what? OpenAI's latest update might just be the game changer we've all been waiting for. Why is character consistency so important? Think about it. Whether you're creating a book, an anime, a comic cartoon show, an animation, or game, having your character look the same every time is crucial. It ensures your audience recognizes and connects with them instantly. But here's the exciting part. OpenAI has just rolled out their new model, GPT-40. While they didn't showcase the image creation updates during their live stream, the examples on their websites are mind blowing. Here on their website, we're going to look at a few examples. The first one is going to be about Sally, the male woman. So the first step that um, they showcased in was to just generate an original image. So the input was a cartoon, a cartoon male delivery person with a smile on her face. She is standing facing forward in front of a white background. So this was the first prompt and we can see the output was exactly the image that, um, the image that was needed. After that, they ended up closing their prompt and they started a whole new prompt. Now to start off this new prompt, they installed Sally as an image input and they mentioned that, hey look, this is Sally, a male delivery person. Sally is standing facing the camera with a smile on her face. Now, from here on out, they continue to use the same prompt, but just ask Sally to be doing different types of actions and different types of events. And here we can see here, Sally is about to deliver a letter. Sally is standing in front of a red door to a house holding a letter in her hand. We are looking at her from the side. So this is the input and this is the output. So exactly, we can see that character consistency with Sally now doing a new action. And we can see from here, there's numerous, numerous more examples in this just same prompt that allows Sally to do different actions. Here, Sally is being chased by a dog. Here, Sally has tripped and the dog is about to he eat her. And here, Sally and the dog finally become friends. We even see Sally driving away. So right off the bat, I think this right here just shows the perfect, perfect way that character consistency is improving. Nice. One thing to do note, though, is that Sally herself is not too, I want to say, the. It, it doesn't have too many edges, right? It's a very, very round character with very vanilla appearances, right? You just have your eyes, your mouth, your nose. We can see the roundness. There's nothing that cr screams edges or crazy, crazy drawing right here. So maybe, again, we still don't have these models, and I'll explain when we're going to get these models available to us. But we can see that maybe right now this is going to be strong for simple drawings or drawings with less edges and more with less edges and less curves. Uh, so that's probably going to be the strength. Maybe if we want to make this more descriptive, if we want to showcase Sally more realistic, maybe we might have other results from here. Uh, so this is the one that got me really, really excited. So there are other examples here. We can see a character design. So here, very similar to the Sally one, we start off with an input to draw the robot. So we get kind of a robot doing the poses we want, and that is our first prompt. Then we end the text and start a new prompt in a new chat, and we install an image and a description of this character, even naming him or her. And then from there on, we can start to get this character to do different types of actions and different types of scenes. Again, here, the consistency in character is insane. This robot I do has maybe has a little bit more features than Sally, so we can exceed that, hey, look, um, it definitely can handle maybe a little bit more descriptive characters and characters with a little bit more defineness to them, but we can definitely see mistakes. For example, some mistakes here are like the, the knee here. You can see the knee here doesn't look like the knee here or maybe the knee here. There are small inconsistencies, but for me, compared to where we've been here in the uh, character consistency world, this is steps ahead, ahead of anyone out there right now. Maybe Mid Journey might eventually release a new version um, of their Mid Journey model, but right now we can see that 
one, not only does it understand character consistency, but you're able to kind of have that memory where you can keep communicating with it in the same prompt and continue to get more and more actions. I don't think anybody else there out there right now can do this, what OpenAI is doing here with their image creation. Another example here is 3D objects synth synthesis. And here is kind of creating a form of a 3D reconstruction and a small kind of image or GIF or video uh, from multiple images. And to be able to do this, first, you need to have character consistency in different viewpoints. So here we can see that the first prompt is looking for a realistic looking 3D rendering of the OpenAI logo with OpenAI shown below, view zero. So view zero is at a certain angle and throughout various steps, they start to look at multiple views, view one, view two, view three, view four, view five, and this showcases different angles. So with all those different angles, you're able to finally kind of construct a form of 3D reconstruction of the image. And to be able to do something like this, you need to have that character consistency amongst all the viewpoints and amongst all the different angles. So again, this is pretty impressive and we see even more examples here. Here is one of a sea lion sculpture in view zero. Again, they have multiple steps looking at different viewpoints. And finally, you have your final 3D reconstruction. So you might be wondering, Jose, when can we get all these types of imaging solutions? Well, GPT-40, their text and image capability Abilities are starting to roll out today in ChatGPT, so they will probably be rolling out throughout the upcoming weeks. Some users might already have the text used, but might not still have the image capabilities. I'm super excited until we do, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. So what does this mean for creators like you? Whether you're a writer, an animator, or a game developer, this update could revolutionize your workflow, making it easier than ever to bring your characters to life with perfect consistency. This move is just the beginning. The future of AI is unfolding right before our eyes, and OpenAI is leading the charge. Want to stay ahead of the curve? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest AI breakthroughs. Catch you later.